stuff cooking. You, I am preparing another order of Cajun chicken pasta on a Saturday. Just add some chicken broth in there. And now we're gonna get some cream. Just dropped off a lemon rum cake, and then I have this beautiful. No, that was a vanilla rum cake. That's a vanilla rum cake I dropped off earlier. This is a um, lemon rum cake that I'm about to drop off. Now I'm about to add some heavy whipping cream. My free, my sweet friend Kia, who have been friends since what the third grade. She sent me some money to make her dad lunch and him a pound cake. For today just something special she said she want to support yeah my friend kia she's always supporting my business i appreciate her so much and the little milk in there i appreciate her so much because it's a saturday and i normally don't cook on saturday but today is an exception for my friend and a little cream cheese in there just so i can get a little creamy Wait and let this sauce thicken up before we add our cheese. I'm about to think I'm about to add these noodles up in here so I can just soak and cook together, right? I'm so glad I pre-cooked these noodles from yesterday. I seen um watching some other ladies cooking show. I think it was a leftover challenge on Netflix, and she said, put a little butter in your noodles, and then that way it won't stick together, and then you can you know warm them up when you're ready and i said that's a good damn idea my pasta with a little sea salt onion powder garlic powder some cajun um seasoning slap your mama little parsley black pepper little bay da 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 ya completo paprika and this is what it looked like all nice and seasoned bubbling bubbling all right so look at that sauce it's bubbling y'all it's bubbling it is bubbling. So you know what that bubbling mean? It's time for the cheese. So for the cheese, I'm going to throw that Parmesan cheese in there. So I'm going to add some Kobe. So I'm going to dump some Kobe Jack cheese up in there. I like the Italian blend as well. But sometimes that blend has just been hard to find lately. So we just gotta make our own little blend. You know what I'm saying? What it's gonna look like. And of course, if you wanna know if your sauce is good or not, see it's nice and thick, just taste your sauce. Mm, that sauce tastes good. Yeah, that, talk, that sauce does taste delicious. So we can turn that stove homemade garlic butter here that we made i don't know why that is in the kitchen okay so we're gonna dump that on there just like so and then we're gonna uh sprinkle some parmesan cheese on top as well but just we're just gonna hit it and just make it nice and buttery and cheesy now we're gonna take this grated garlic parmesan my mario i don't know how to say that shit my mario Put that on there like so and then we're gonna pop this boy right in the oven on 400 and it goes all right so this is some chicken and some shrimp i sauteed up earlier and i'm gonna mix that all of that all up in there cut the stove off because this is creamy and good already Mix so my dessert for today is banana pudding so i got this vanilla instant banana pudding from the aldi's i'm gonna make that up and um make a little little pudding from the aldi's vanilla pudding mix directions on the box call for two cups of milk and then you just mix it mix it mix it mix it mix it listen and then I add boop, a couple of dabs of uh, vanilla. 
in it and just mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it. So I just covered it with some film wrap or whatever, plastic wrap, whatever. And I'm going to put this in the refrigerator and let it sit, plate up this pasta, and get ready to go. When I come back, I'll show you how to do my banana. So we got our bread, nice and toasty. And then we got the shrimp and chicken Cajun pasta. Y'all know I'm hungry because I'm on this old man diet crap. Oh man, I would love to eat this right now, but I can't. All right, back to my banana pudding. So we got the pudding mix over there sitting in cool chill. We got these all these vanilla wafers, some old bananas, and some whipped cream from the Walmart. So we about to plate it on up and get us some pudding in the mix. Just like lasagna, you want to put your sauce first at the bottom. And then we're going to put our cookies and get it all nice and crispy. Oh. Then you lay your bananas on top, and then we boop, boop with that whipped cream, smooth it on out, because this is a banana pudding pie, okay? The whipped cream is what makes it nice and delicious. Alright, just like lasagna, you gotta follow your steps. Now we put back the pudding mix and we spread it around and then we're going to add our bananas on top and then the whipped cream. You finish the assembly line and then you're complete. Alright, so our banana pudding is nice and complete and layered in there. If you make banana pudding, you should add your whipped cream on top of there. This makes it taste so much better. Now, if you don't come for me telling my son, you don't make it from scratch the fuck. No. No. Alright, so yep, this is our banana pudding. All puddinged up and whipped cream and pie -y. It is pudding. It is pudding. But I prefer the instant pudding. It's a lot faster. It's easier to make. And this is what I like. If you make your banana foot pudding from scratch, I salute you. But that don't mean that shit tastes good. I remember I bought some banana pudding for some banana pudding lady. I think she was called banana pudding lady. And that shit was nasty. But my shit... You know it's gonna be good. So try it this way and let me know how yours turned out and how yours tastes. You can use whatever vanilla mix that you want, jelly o uh any store brand bar. It all kind of turns out the same. As long as you follow the directions, check y'all.